OK. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, take a look at the um, adding a couple of input fields here for, uh, for username, password, and whatnot. So let's uh, go into the login component. Um, let's see, where's the login? Uh, so in the HTML, let's add a, a simple form, right? Where we have username, password, and whatnot. So let's uh, that renders how. Let's see if we go to login, we have that input field. Yes, all right. Uh, and uh, we can bind. Um, uh, we know that we can bind form elements. So for instance, we can declare here uh, an ng model. Right, and map it to a variable on the other on the other side as a username. And same thing, we can do the same thing with a with a password. So this is password, and this is of type password. Okay, and the and the button we could tie it to an event handler, uh, such as click, and this says uh, login, and we can pass along the username and password to the component. Yes? So the component would expect that. Uh, very well. We can, uh, we can now, in the, in the component, the, the, job, the TypeScript, we can uh, declare an event handler, such as login, uh, which takes as argument a username. And we can even strong type it, uh, and password, and strong type it. The strong typing is optional in TypeScript. Right, but it's usually a good, it's a good idea to make sure that the types are correct. And here we can console log and display the username and the password. OK? Uh, so that if we, if, we if we type here and we type the values, it's auto, uh, auto completing. Login. Notice that the values do make it to the to the to the component. Make sense? Uh, something also pretty cool is that these don't necessarily have to be just plain old uh, strings, right? This could be uh, objects, right? This could be user dot username, and this could be uh, user dot password. Okay, um, and and this could be just user. Pass in a user object. And on the other side, in the login, you could be a little more object-oriented. Instead of just uh, something as low level as just a username, you can take a user object and display the user.username and user.password, which is pretty cool. And uh, pass in, and it didn't work. Um, <laughs> I need to declare an object uh, of type user that has username and password. Um, which is pretty cool, right? That you can you can declare uh, um, objects as well. I don't want to get into a data model just yet. So let me put it back the way it was. I'll come back to user model in a, uh, data modeling in a minute. Uh, but yeah, so we passed in the the, the variables as username and password in the in the in the uh, uh, in the parentheses, right? As a function, as a, as parameters into a, into a function, and now we have it in the login. What we'd like to be able to do, maybe, perhaps, is validate that username and password exist. Uh, and if so, then navigate uh, to, the, to the profile. Right, so we, we want to programmatically navigate, as opposed to uh, if you click on a, on, a, on a link, you blindly navigate uh, to, a, uh, to, a, to another page. Uh, so to do that, uh, what we could do is, um, uh, is use uh, the, the router, the router library, uh, has a navigate function on it, right? so that you can programmatically navigate wherever you want. Okay? And so, for instance, uh, if we load the router in the component, load the router, uh, we we could programmatically use. Uh, we need to uh, import it. And, um, and in the constructor, we're going to see the very first instance uh, of an injection. All right. uh, notice that here in the constructor, we're going to 
declare that we want an instance of a router. All right? And uh, so uh, the, 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 uh, this is an, an example of inversion of control where we don't want to handle the life cycle of this variable. Instead, we are asking the infrastructure uh, to manage a, the, the life cycle of some instance for us, instantiated for us. And when you instantiate us, pass me an instance of this variable, right, of this data type. And presumably, this, this variable, because it's of type router, has a whole bunch of uh, uh, behaviors attached to that object. Right? One of the behaviors is that it would allow me to intera inter interact uh, with, the, uh, with the routing mechanism, right? that would allow me to navigate right, to a particular route declared in one of the routes. Okay? Uh, so yeah, so, so let's, uh, let's uh, do some IOC. So here in the constructor. In the constructor, we're asking right, to instantiate a variable of type route and make it available to us. This not only does it, does it instantiate to us, it also declares it as a local variable, an instance variable of the component. Right now, this variable router is available inside of the component as a private element. I can say this dot router anywhere in the component is now available, as if I would have declared it as a variable here. If I would have declared it, which I'm not. Right? Otherwise, I would op be obfuscating the variable. Okay. Uh, so, so what I could do here now is do things such as this dot router. I can use it internally, and then I say this dot navigate is one of the functions on that object, and I can choose here a, one of the routings that we declared in the app dot routing, such as login, register, profile. I can navigate anywhere I want. Right. In my particular case, I want to navigate to perhaps the profile page. Right. If I've checked to see if the username and password are good, right. I'll, navigate, uh, I'll navigate there. Um, so, uh, I can, I, uh, so this takes as argument a, uh, um, parts of a path, right. an array that contains multiple strings that together build a path. Right. This allows me to, uh, to programmatically compute what path do I want. Right? I can create an array, an empty array, and based on some computation, decide that my path is so and so. Right? Instead of dealing with strings and concatenating strings, right, which we, could be very error prone, right? instead I work with, with uh, an array of, str of, of strings right? that then get concaten concatenated uh, and it builds a path for me. Right. right now, my path is so simple that I'm just going to be an array of a single string login uh, profile. That's an array of a single profile. But it could have been maybe I'm, I'm navigating to somebody else's profile, right? so I need to know their ID. Right? Um, uh, maybe I have some state information that I want to pass along, and I would, I would calculate this array. Yes? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can embed uh, uh, slashes yourself, right? But it, calc it, it concatenates every, all, all the elements of the, of the array. And the resulting path needs to match one of the routes. Otherwise, you're, you don't go anywhere. Yep. Uh, this might ha need to have a slash at the, at the front. Uh, all right, so excellent. So I'm just going to go uh, log in. And notice that it navigates to uh, the profile. Right? It, goes, it goes there. Um, all right, excellent. Um, what else? OK, we haven't talked about user services just, just yet. We haven't talked about services in, at all. So I'm not going to go there just yet. Um, oh, OK, no, it's a, it's a hard-coded service. So, so we, might, we might be able to play around with that. OK, so let's talk about services. <clears throat> 